So these three prerequisite has to happen. Maven session, I have a habit, so you don't have to uh, do it because you might have done it already. Now, how to work with artifactory account, artifactory workflow. So how to work with artifactory account, artifactory workflow. So for that, what you have to do, click on this. And what is Maven version type? What are the types of repository? What are the local repository artifactory and all? So these are all the things which I have talked about it. So you can go through this. So step number one, uh, this is from the fundamental Maven repository, which you created in Maven session. This you know that, this you know that, and all the stuff like that. So these are all Maven plus artifactory, every steps you have it one by one. So right now I don't have to cover the Maven. So here very simple step. Step number one, modify a form.xml with artifact uh, repo location. That is the first thing. Step number two, which you have to do, modify modify a setting.xml setting.xml with access of artifact artifact. And then last one, which I have need to do is ambient deploy that's a goal so this will help you to deploy your packages uh, your known packages to the artifact now these three steps i need to do which you can find here uh, in the in the here modify the pom.xml here it is modify the setting.xml here it is and run this goal that's all so can I do that? So let me check if I have a Maven uh, project from the last training. Uh, so I deleted it actually. Yeah. So no problem. I'll create one more. It will take a few seconds. So this is a Maven. This is the command line. Directory. This is the command line. And now I want to create it. So for that, this command, I might have run it if you remember it in the Maven session. Enter. This will create one sample Maven project Java based, which can be used for the demo. So let's wait for a few seconds. So um, you're doing that on the on the local, right? Yeah. This is so, local, okay. So local repository, which I'm having, which I'm having here, where I can read and write. This will be remote, which I can use it for downloading purpose, and this is a group which I can use for downloading purpose. So let's have. So any projects you can use it, manually also you can do that. Taking a little time, just give me a few seconds. That's the reason I didn't want to do it in the local machine. Yeah, just waste, waste my waiting time. But right now I have to do that because my machine will work like a workstation and artifactory which is here is working like a server on AWS which I should have done. So, so here it is your sample project, chat. So this is a pom.xml, this is Java project, simple one. So what to do, what to do? Repo location, so can I do that? So here this code, I can generate it uh, from artifactory itself. Let me open up this code. By the way, the tutorial also you have it, so you have to refer it also. But because I'm showing you anyways, so why to refer the documents? So here, uh, I will go to let's set me up and set me up for Maven. Uh, which repository? Rajesh Maven, which is local. That's the reason it has come only local. 
and do you want to configure it? Uh, do you want to generate setting or you want to deploy? So I wanted to deploy, but I'm by mistake, I click on the setting. So what to do now? Cancel. Set me up. Maven, Rajesh Maven, deploy. Now this code, which you see that here, it's created for you. And I'll copy it here. That's all. So now this is the code for Maven. Maven code it has been created. And this is the repository for for the release version. If you remember that Maven, we have a two version, release and snapshot. And this was the snapshot. Here I'm using snapshot and release both same, but when you have a snapshot separate, it's making better sense. So you can create one more repository and use as a snapshot. Uh, this is the name, this is a ID. And this ID uh, has certain significance, I must tell you, in some time. So that's all. So this work which I wanted to do from scratch, I'm showing you. Done. Any questions, guys? Uh, Any questions? Um, if you don't mind, can you go over it again? I got a little bit confused with um, setting ah, up. So this code, basically this code I needed. So this okay. code, you can get it. Uh, this code, you can get it from my blog also or internet also or Artifact will also give you this code. This code is for uh, setting up the repository in map. So here it can be sent a repository from Artifactory or Nexus or Archiver. This can be from anywhere. It's a Maven element. Now, how do you generate this Maven element from using Artifactory? So you have to go to this here, front end, set me up, click on the deploy. Here, and this code you have, but you can copy from here also. Uh, let me show you. See, this is all. And change this, this part. That's all. The IP, okay. Got it? I said, you said change the IP part, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, this, this repository is the, it has okay. to be changed. This whole path will be changed. Okay. Okay, so that is the first step. After that, what you have to do? So second step, modify the setting.xml, which is a Maven configuration file uh, with the access of Artifactory. So what is the access of Artifactory which I created? This is username and password for this repository. So where, where is the Maven uh, setting.xml? So go to the tools location. You know that in my laptop, everything is installed in the tool location. So go to C drive and tools. And Maven, where's the Maven? Here it is. And conf. And this is the setting.xml. Now, this you should modify the access. So it's a pretty long file, actually. So you should be reading all this thing. But the only thing which I want to change it is this one. This one. Or this one. You should add it one more. Okay. So now you'll say, Rajesh, you do not, this, this code is generated by Artifactory. Yes, but we are not using it. Why? Because generate every junk of code. Let me show you. So set me up and Maven. And here, this is the configuration, right? Configuration and generate setting, the setting.xml. And now you generate a setting.xml, which you don't need it actually. Okay. So see here, there's a hell lot of code it generate. Okay. So copy this code and See, a lot of things is generated. I don't need it actually. And I don't want to complicate also. So just I need this one. That's all. Make sense? So that's all. So what I'll do, I'll copy this one here. And here, what is username? Deploy. Password deploy123. We know that. Now, this ID, this is important. And it's in recording. Okay. Please remember that. This ID must match with. <laughs> this ID and this ID because for this repository and for this repository, what is the username and password is stored here. Okay, so I'll delete the, uh, this one, I'll delete the, this one, and this ID belongs to this one. So, snapshot there should be some ID, right? So, here and snapshot. That's all. So you have a central and snapshot user ID for central is this one. 
and user ID and password for snapshot is this. Understood? This has to match. Understood all of you? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Now, after this, you have to do only Maven deploy. So can I do that? So Maven deploy, I do everything. It will compile first, then test it, then package it, then install it, and then deploy. Last boot. So Maven deploy. It takes few seconds, but wait for it. Okay, there's a failure, uh, no POM of bad directory. It should be inside a chat. Share the screen. So what I'm building, the product which I'm building is, this is the artifact ID chat and the version is this one. Yeah, snapshot version. See the compilation is happening. So why the model ID is different from the snapshot ID? Which ID? Of the model, you know, on the notes. Um, on the note, you have, I think the model ID is 4.00 and the snapshot is 1.0. Ah, this is, this is XML standard. You should not refer it right now. Oh, this okay. Is XML. This is your code. In Maven, if you refer it, this is just for XML standard. Okay. This is some failure and the failure is why? Ah, this is a popular uh, identifier. Let me copy it. This is Java issues. That's all. Building. And now, guys, if you see that here, uploading, uploading is happening somewhere here. So it is uploading. And can we validate? So go to the artifact tree and cancel this. Go to the package, uh, no artifact, sorry. And here, go to the Rajesh Maven. See, com, Mav is here. Com. DevOps school, software, chat, snapshot. So here, com, DevOps school, software, chat, still has not come. Ah, now it's come. Snapshot. And this is your jar file, which you can see it here. Got it, all of you? Now you have to make a release, release one. So let's say this snapshot is not stable one. So release one, modify your code. Release, huh, done. Modify your uh, version number. Up deploy one more time after this. So this will be the release. Snapshot is not stable one. Same thing will happen when new versions will be uploaded to the website. And see here, it's uploading again. Done. And you can validate here. We have a refresh button somewhere. Uh, here. 
here chat 1.0 now you got a release one. here it is so what you did you upload it how using maven to where artifact did you understand that all of you thanks for watching want to study further join our training programs today